In the other video, we talked about the mouse transistor used uh, as a switch. Here, well, let's take a look at the how mouse transistor uh, operates in saturation region. In saturation region, um, VGS of uh, again we use MOS as, as an example here. VGS is just slightly higher than the threshold of the MOS here. You need the over, we call it. Um, Overdrive voltage that's about I'll say 100 millivolts to 200 millivolts roughly. So with that kind of VGS applied on the transistors, a channel barely forms beneath the gate here. So later on, you're gonna find out that the IDS is actually heavily dependent on VGS instead of a VDS. In other words, IDS is more uh, is less sensitive to VDS. Than VGS. So here's a plot uh, with uh, VDS, VGS versus IDS. By the way, this plot is super important. Get familiar with this. Um, it's great for intuition later on. So we use uh, MOS as an example here. The stretch of the MOS is about 0.45. When the VGS is lower than 0.45, as you can see, there's no the channels are not there, so there's no IDS current. Uh, we slowly increase the VGS, um, the IDS also shows up. Pick up any point here, the slope of that, what we call it um, GM. GM essentially is the, the, the change in IDS over the change in VGS. Right? So you can go back to the Razavi book and take a look at the um, exactly uh, i mean the full equation of how to to describe the gm but most importantly it's better for you to understand that the, to to remember that the gm is proportional to square root of a wol or the square root of a ids what does that mean so that means um in order to increase the gm um use bigger w over l ratio or push more current into the transistors. And the second one is the VGS equal to VTH of the mass plus a uh, over and an overdrive voltage. Usually, over uh, depends on the circuit. Usually, we pick up uh, let's say 200 200 millivolts is a good starting point for the overdrive voltage. Sometimes go as low as uh, 100 millivolts or so. And the and also. You can go back to do that to 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 recipe book. GM is um, GM is proportional to ID over the overdrive, right? The overdrive um, is proportional to square root of L over W ratio or square root of I DS. So what does that mean? So that means um, for you know if you increase the IDS for the for the same sizing, increase the IDS the overdrive gonna increase okay and then now for the same current if uh, you decrease the WL ratio the o V over um, V overdrive gonna gonna increase right now and also you can find out that uh, given the same amount of ID in order to ma maximize GM right in order to maximize GM a lot of times you need to maximize the GM to improve the, the, the offset. So how to maximize the GM? Um, with the, the same ID. One way to do it is to minimize the V overdrive. How to minimize the V overdrive? To, um, to increase the W over L ratio. So as you can see that the, we have four quantities here. One is GM, the other one is V overdrive. And also W over L ratio and I drain current IDS. So this four, four quantity, the, 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 the relationship, um, between, you know, the relationship between these quantities, uh, these four quantities are super important. Get familiar with it. And, uh, you know, just the bottom line is you need to understand how you're going to increase certain quantity by doing what right so this is very important again 
this is another plot which is super important um from get familiar with that and uh, you know later on you're gonna find find out that it's super uh, it's a very, very useful um this is the vds versus ids curve right when we say you know the mass in the saturation uh, saturation region we're talking about the region here this is like a blue is like this diff three different curves correspond to different vgs voltage but for one vgs voltage the saturation region of the mass we talked about here is along this region so as you can see uh, with a lot of a change in the VDS, right? It's the VDS change between, you know, from, from, from 1 volt to 2.5 volts. IDS barely changed, right? And the slope of this guy is this curve here. We call it GDS, right? GDS is the reciprocal of the RO of uh, a, a MOS transistor. Um, R is proportional to L. The longer the L, the higher the R. And also, it's inversely proportional to IDS. Right. So we have a higher IDS R drops. Compare with the GM, we talked about in the last slides. When the mass transistor in the saturation region, saturation region, GM is a lot bigger than the GDS. Um, as otherwise we get a province, right? If we look at the equation here, um, essentially for the same amount of a uh, ID change, same amount of ID change, we require a lot less VGS change than VDS change, right? VDS change a lot, you know, but the IDS barely change. When you go back to the last slides, um, the VGS change a little, IDS change quite a bit, right? The slope is different. Remember that. So we say in this region, mass is more like a current source, controlled mainly by VGS. Thank you for watching our video. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel.